Tavernier, 430 East 6th Avenue in Roseville. Um, I guess my first question is what facts did you just vote based on? Because if they're not available until tomorrow, how are we voting on items related to this project if we don't have the facts here right now? Um, four years into this project, I would expect that these facts, these numbers, would be second nature to you, as they are to me at this point. Um, the tax increase over the next year, the next two years, the next three years, should be something you should be able to give any constituent that asks you a question at any point, any day. You shouldn't have to say, come back tomorrow. We're having a meeting right now about the mind and body complex. We've had multiple meetings about the mind and body complex. How, how are these numbers not something that you either have in that iPad or have in your head? Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. I um, mean, you said no one gave you numbers that added up to $500 tax increase. I provided numbers at a meeting, and within minutes, a huge spreadsheet, within minutes, this council told me these are fake numbers. False. Made up. Instead of asking me questions as to how I came up with those numbers, asking me where did these projections come from, asking me why are you projecting this, why are you projecting that, why are you including the normal year-over-year -year tax increase because that's things that people are going to have to pay. See, instead of asking questions of people who provided you with facts, instead of asking them where those numbers came from, you instead said, my numbers were fake, and then have still yet to present what your numbers are. Um, Mayor, I don't understand how this council can say tomorrow we're going to get these numbers. You know, if my numbers are fake, there should be an alternate tax increase provided. We've been talking about a $500 tax increase. It's likely going to be more than that, but we'll go with the $500 for now. Um, you know, the Board of Ed at their last meeting admitted that it's going to be $190 on their end. Board of Ed is 24 out of the $59 million. If you do the math, just on the $190 alone, the entire tax increase is going to be somewhere around $470 based on what the Board of Ed is admitting now. Um, but what they tried to do was play, you know, fancy numbers and say it's going to be over the next 30 years. Well, guess what? We have to start paying the debt service the year we start. And within two years, after we get rid of um, the, the pay downs and the debt, the amount the borough and the Board of Ed have to pay is close to $3 million within two years. And that's when the major tax increase becomes apparent. Over the first year, it's about $50. The second year, you're paying about $190 specifically into the mind and body complex, and within two years, it's 420 some odd dollars. That's when you discount for the current rent we're paying to Shins and St. Joe's. That's when you add in the revenues, that sheet of revenues, the single sheet that you gave us a few meetings back. That's when you take all the best case scenarios, the Huddle House, which isn't built, the revenue we're getting there, the Wawa, which hopefully will be built. Mayor, may I have three more minutes? The park apartments, which would depend on their revenues, which means we hope that they're actually filling that up entirely. Um, you know, and, and this all goes back to the election. Look, people <coughs> voted on this issue. We made this a singular issue in this election. People are talking about Phil Murphy just won the landslide, 55% of the vote. Guess how much our candidates just won in the Board of Education election? 55% of the vote. But are we not going to listen to our constituents? Are we just going to ignore them? In my opinion, that's a complete dereliction of duty. Um, the bottom line is in two years, people are going to be paying $500 more in taxes than if we, if we go ahead with this project than if we did not. You can play numbers with the revenues. The revenues will exist no matter what. The question is whether or not this project happens. You cannot take everything out in a vacuum and say, all right, the park is paying in this much, and we're going to spend this much on mind and body. What about roads? What about everything else? Taxes keep going up year over year. And the amount of revenues, supposedly, that we're getting from the park, Wawa, Huddle House, <laughs> Sheridan Gardens, don't even cover our normal annual tax increase. That is the point. So instead of telling me my numbers are fake, how about ask me where I came from with those numbers? How about asking, when are we going to fact check our professionals? before or after the campaign donations. That's what I'd love to know. Um, at what point do we say, maybe we have to do our own homework and not just believe what's being fed to us by the higher-ups in the political system and uh, these supposed professionals. Uh, with all due respect to Ms. Dixon, I believe it was $175 million for the entire state that that bond was for the libraries. 
you know, our project alone here is 59 million. There's no way we're going to get enough money out of that to really do um, what we need to with our library. So I just wanted to make a point of commenting on that. Um, the other thing which I've been talking about at recent meetings is that the House federally just passed this awful tax reform bill, which in particular is going to hurt New Jersey, in particular going to hurt Roselle, when we have this property tax deduction no longer available. So at what point do we say, maybe five years ago this was a good idea, but right now we're in a cruddy situation economically. We have a president who doesn't care about New Jersey, doesn't care about Roselle. So when your taxes are already going to go up $500 from this, also going to go up because Trump is now you know, trying to screw us all pretty much, uh, at what point do we say, maybe we need to think about the people that are currently in this town, um, aside from, you know, just pure gentrification in this, in this borough. Um, honestly, that's what this comes down to, is you're going to force out people who cannot afford to pay taxes, essentially trying to bring in people who can, and saying, we don't care about the people that get lost in the shuffle here, so long as somebody fills that house. Thank you. Yeah.